Gan 12 maglev. Gan 13 maglev. What, what the hell even is maglev? So many companies advertise their cubes as maglev. And Gan, being the most prominent, has the most success with maglev technology. But what even is maglev technology? So today, I will be showing you what maglev technology is, how it works, and how it impacts the Rubik's Cube. This is the core of my GAN13 maglev, and it may resemble regular Rubik's Cube cores, or regular speed cube cores, but when you take a look closely, you will see little magnets over here. Now, these magnets serve mainly as control and stability with the cube. What allows the control are the magnets found within the pieces of the cubes. So there are two types of magnets that are found within the pieces. One of them being a corner magnet. And that is this little spike-like thing that comes out of the corner piece. And so when you adjust this little knob to increase the magnet strength, you're not actually increasing the magnet strength, you are taking this piece out further and further away from the base of the corner piece, and that brings it closer to the core of the cube, allowing for much more stability and, in turn, a much more tighter feeling magnet strength. Edge magnets do the exact opposite. Instead of coming closer to the core of the cube, they actually repel the cube. This repelling of the cube allows for much more controllable and smooth turning compared to regular speed cubes that lack a maglev core. Of course, each company uses their own version of a maglev core, like MoYu or, Tor or the Tornado V3, but I chose GAN because every speed cuber knows what GAN is, and the core is just done to perfection on the GAN cube. Even though my main is a Tornado V3, I still favor the GAN when it comes to the maglev technology, simply because of how refined it is, and no other company is able to match its proficiency. Now, I know there isn't a lot to say about a maglev core, because that's really all it is. It's just a way to increase stability on the Rubik's Cube. And if there is anything I missed, feel free to reach out in the comments and let me know if there's anything I missed. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.